sister say to your sister Rama have in mercy plead with your mother plead for she is not my wife neither am I her husband therefore let her put away her whoredom from her side and her adulteries from between her breast unless I strip her naked expose her as in the day she was born make her like a wilderness set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. And I will not have mercy upon her children. They are the children of whoredom. For their mother has played the harlot. She who conceived them has done shamefully. For she said, I will follow after my lovers who give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flock, and my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns and build a wall so that she will not find her path. And she will follow after her lovers, but she will not overtake them. She will seek them, but will not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband. For then it was better for me than now. For she did not realize that it was I who give her grain, wine, and oil, and multiply her silver and gold, which they sacrificed to Baal, thinking it was the Lord that gave them these blessings. Therefore, I will return and take away my grains in its time and my wine in its season and will recover my wool and my linen given to cover her nakedness. So now I will expose her nudeness in the sight of her lovers and none shall deliver her out of my hands. I will also cause her joys to cease, and her feast days, her new moons, her sabbaths, all her appointed feasts. And I will destroy her vine, vines and fig trees, of which she has said, these are the reward that my lovers have given to me. So 
I will make them a forest, and the beasts of the field shall eat them. I will visit upon, punish her for the days of the Baalim, Lord God Elohim, the God deceased, to which she burned incense. She decked herself with her earrings and jewelry and went herself with her and went after her lovers. Then she forget me, says Yahuwah. Therefore, behold, I am going to allure her, bring her into the wilderness and give her understanding. I will assign to her her vineyards and the valley of Anka, trouble as a door of hope. She will sing there as the days of her youth, as in the day when she came out from the land of Egypt. And I will be in that day, says Yahuwah, that I will call that you will call me Asha, my husband, and I will no longer be called Baalim, my Lord. For I will take away the names of Baalim, the Lord God Elohim, and the goddess out of, the, out of her mouth, and their names will no longer be called upon. And in that day, I will establish my covenant for them with the animals of the field and with the birds of the sky and with the creeping things on the ground and I will break the bow strength of the sword and abolish battle equipment from the earth to make them lie down safely. I will be, be taught you to me forever. Yes, I will be taught you to me in righteousness, in judgment, in loving kindness, and in mercy. I will be taught you to me in faithfulness, and you will know Yahuwah. In that day you will respond, say, Yahuwah, I will respond to the heavens, and I will respond to the earth. Then the earth will respond to the grains and the vines and the oil, and they will respond to, and they will respond to Zerel. And I will sow her to me in the earth, and will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. I will say to those who were not my people, you are my people, and I will say, and they will say, you are our father. Good evening, world. Your set apart Sabbath of the full moon have arrived. And in the distance, I see the moon declaring, declaring that your set apart Sabbath of the full moon is here. This is a day of joy and gladness. This is a day of joy and rest. Your Sabbath of the full moon has arrived. It is the Sabbath of the full moon of the 12th lunar biblical month at our 15th 
6,005. I am here this evening to acknowledge your set apart Sabbath and to declare to the world that Saturday nor Sunday is not your Sabbath. Your Sabbath is determined by the new moon. And this evening, I am, I am so glad to see that the moon is right there bearing witness to your set apart Sabbath. I need not say anymore because the moon bears witness in the east. And the sunset bears witness in the west, declaring that your Sabbath of the full moon is here. O day of rest and gladness, O day of joy and light, O day of peace and rest, I am truly excited to see y'all speaking from the sky, declaring to the world that his Sabbath has come. Holy Sabbath day of rest by Yehusha richly Genesis 2 verses 1 to 3 says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the sixth day, Yah ended his work which he has created and rested on the Sabbath day, the seventh day. Thus Yahuwah blessed the Sabbath day and uh, hallowed it. It is noticeable that as Daniel 7 verse 25 declares that men have think to change times and laws. But Yah's word will never change. Yahusha said in Matthew 5, I think it's verse 17, Think that, not that I am come to destroy the laws or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Yahuwah, our Heavenly Father, requires that we obey him he requires that we be clothed with his righteousness and that we walk as he commanded us to do no way can we be accepted by y'all unless we obey his commandments if possible I would like to read a, read a, the story about the man without the wedding garment if I if I can see it this evening I would like to read it for us because I am right now on the street Acknowledging your set apart servant of the full moon, and I am 
delighted that I am not alone because the moon also bear witness that it is your Sabbath. Yah did not leave his Sabbath for man to do as he as man pleases. But Yah set the sun and the moon and the stars as his witness. Each and every fourth quarter of the moon. If I can find this story, I'm going to read it because it is real, it is vital. It is important that we follow your statutes, follow your commandment, and walk as he commands us to walk. No way can we do otherwise and be accepted in his kingdom. Let me uh, see if I can see. It is Matthew 22, verse 11. Matthew 22, verses 11. Oh. Okay, I'm going to start um, from verse 7. So when the king heard of this, he was angry. And he sent his armies to destroy those murderers and burn their city. Then he said unto his servants, The wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. Therefore, therefore, go into the highways, and as many as you find, invite them to the marriage. So, there, so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found and brought and both, both evil and righteous. So the wedding was furnished. So the wedding was furnished with guests. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, I guess I did it again. Not enough light. So the wedding was finished with, furnished with guests. But when the king came in and see the guest, he saw a man who did not have on the wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how did you get in here without having your, having your wedding garment? But he had nothing to say. Then the king said to his servants, Bind him hand and foot, take him away and cast him into utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For as many as, a, for many are called, but few are chosen. So this is your servant. And as we can see, the moon, and the sunset bears witness that yours set apart Sabbath of the full moon is here. Let us now remember your Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahuwah, our Father. We notice that the world has forsaken Yah. Hosea speak about Yah's people who have done whoredom, whoredom 
commit whoredom in forsaking Yah. And Yah cause his people to be punished until they realize that he is their father who supplied them with their grains and their clothing and not Baal, Lord, who, are be, who is being worshipped today. Let us return to Yah. Let us walk in his statues. Let, his, let us keep his commandments. And let us re remember that to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rums. Yahusha said, if you love me, keep my commandments. I am convinced that many, many know that Saturday is not the Sabbath. Saturday was fixed by Constantine in AD 350. And I am informed and there is a record that tells that the organization of the SDA know this as far back as 1888 that Saturday was not the Sabbath but they refrain from telling the people thus we have people who are being deceived and who have been worshipping Baal instead of the, the, the Elohim of heaven let us remember your Sabbath day to keep it holy let us walk as Yahusha walk Yah has given his Sabbath to be a sign between him and his people and, it's in, and, in, and in particular Israel throughout their generations. Remember those who break your Sabbath and pollute it, Yah says they should be put to death. And they should be cut off from his, pe his people. So I am just happy to welcome, in, to welcome your Sabbath this evening. And to experience your faithfulness. He does not leave us without a witness. And I am so delighted to see the moon. Declaring that the Sabbath of the full moon has begun. Happy Sabbath. Holy Sabbath day of rest. By you shall Happy Sabbath world. This is the Sabbath of the full moon of the 12th biblical month, Adar 15, 6005. Remember your Sabbath day to keep it holy so that y'all will be able to welcome us into his kingdom because we obey him and we hallow his Sabbath and we kept his Sabbath day holy. Happy Sabbath. Shalom. Shalom. Praise Yah.